Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to the second lesson of 3D Max tutorial course. So, yes, in the previous lesson, I started working with 3D Max and I explained the user interface and the main screens and the main tools for the 3D Max. And I explained some of the main things that we have to use at the first time. So, there's something important I didn't explain yes, for in the previous lesson why I used 3D Max 2012 version I use this version because it's so popular on the internet so whenever I want to find a secret or plugins to connect it with 3D Max I'll find it immediately free on the internet so whenever I google it immediately I'll find it one of the top results so I could get everything for free from the internet so that's why I'm using 2012 and also you have to put in consideration that there is no difference between 2012, 2013 and even 2017 because I will get the same result in the final so it depends on upon my work and also upon my settings for the VRA so I will explain everything but I'm just now want to explain why I'm using 2012 to make it clear for everyone and even if you want to use 2013 2014 it's okay the same method so they are all working the same so let's get out of this image let's go to 3d max as i said yesterday or in the previous lesson i have to start with the units in the 3d max so i will go to customize unit setups system unit setup then i have to select here my units that I want to use so I'm always using meters so I will select meter ok then here ok again now I want to show up this window as one window here so I will click alt and w to show only this perspective window so alt and w I'm showing this one I will start working with the create panels which is the geometric sh shapes so this geometry panel, I will start with box. So I will draw a box just by clicking over here. Then I will make a box by se selecting it. Now I will go up, then click. Now to get out of this comment, you have to hit right click from the mouse. So right click, I'm getting out from the comment. Cause if I'm making a box, and I did it. If I click escape, I can't get out from the comment. So, by the way, I could get out th from the comment, but I have to hit two twice. So I I'm always using right click. It's the easiest method in 3D Max. So now let's go to the top view by hitting T from the keyboard. I'll make this one. I'll, at the first, I'll go to W for the move comment as we said in the previous lesson I'll make those axis 0 to make it in the middle so this is 0 now let's go to perspective view by hitting alt clicking scroll from the mouse then make a direction for me so I'll go to the parameters of this box how I have to go to modify here the second one the first one is create the second one modify so I'll go to modify here are the parameters of this box so the first one is the length the second one width and then the height so those are by meters because I did the units by meter so let's make it five meters for the length five meters for the width and three meters for the height so if i want to show up this one just clicking click or press z from the keyboard so i'm showing this box now i will explain something important the segments 
actually the segments are working with all the shapes in 3d max and it's something so important this if i'm increasing the segments nothing happens for now i will make this one 50 this one i will increase it as i want i can't see anything so i'll make it zero by hitting right click here right click right click one i will hit f4 from the keyboard to show the borders the edge so so when i hit f4 i'll show up all the heads all the edge faces so now if i'm increasing the segments which is the length segments of the first one so as you can see i'm increasing the segments why i'm increasing the segments i'll explain it now so just focus up i'll increase the width segments and also the high segments so why i'm increasing the segments because if i keep them one 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 so when i want to control this box for example i want to bend it so now let's bend this box i'll go here for modify i'll hit bend i'll explain all those later but for now i'm just want to make it clear for you why i'm using segments and what's the purpose of it so i'll go to bend then here from here i'll increase this as you can see here let's go to this side when i make it like this or like this it comes with the straight edge so how can i make it as a curve let's explain it i'll delete the paint comment for now when i increase the segments here let's go to bend again so as you can see here bend x is x y z so which direction i want it so let's go to x now it's also with the straight faces or straight edge so let's go to y i'm just want to explain it and make it clear for you so when i go to y as you can see here now it came as a curve so let's go to here this view mode now i'm controlling the angle so as you can see here it came with a curve so whenever i increase the segments it become more flexible so if i'm decreasing the segments so as you can see here it came like this then like this with a straight edge so when i increase the segments i get it more flexible and i get the curve more beautiful so that's why i'm using the segments also from here also for the high segments so now when i go to paint comment let's go to the x as you can see here let's make it zero as you can see so i could control it more let's go to z also as you can see here so i could make an organic shape by the segments and paint so let's go to left view as we said left view l space sorry only hit l from the keyboard or back view here back view or or as i said yesterday by v hitting v from the keyboard then let's go to back view top view bottom view so as i want now i'm in the back view z for make zoom extend for extending the zoom so i wish now the segments more understandable for you so if you have any question about the segments or any other things that i explain in this lecture so please just type in a comment and i will answer you immediately when i check up your comment for now i wish that you understand the segments and why i'm using segments with the shapes and god willing next lecture i will explain all the all other geometric shapes on the parameters of it and 
also I, I will explain some other things so now I'm focusing on segments because it's something so important and I will use it every time with all my projects I need the segments so that's why I paid my second lecture just to explain the segments thank you for watching and I wish that you enjoyed my lecture bye bye